the social networks actually deliver a lot of that because then they can look at the social graph and learn a lot about you and everything on your page they know Chris is married and he has this kid you know so they're able to derive a lot about you as an individual that they can't get off of a cookie um, so there's a lot of companies marrying all that together like Tom said and they can deliver it to you on an ad network and, and you know once that happens then it can come on your cell phone and you know, there's a lot of sci-fi movies where people are walking down in a, a road and the billboards change to them. We're, we're actually not that far away from being able to do that. A lot of these ad networks pull that back because they realize it'll creep you out if they put your name in a banner ad. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but they know, and then they also know all your demographics. They know your income, the size of your house. If you go to Zillow or something like that, you know, it says, you know, you can type in your address and it says what your house is worth. And they can tie all that stuff together now mm -hmm. in a pretty scary way. So there's all startups doing all that, tying all this data together. Then there's a bunch of other startups that are kind of saying, how do you put a shield around it? You know, if, if Dave doesn't want that information out there, how can he kind of put some kind of bubble around himself where he can get more control over that? Because right now you really don't have any control.